You know, the biggest community need that uh, people need is, is getting job ready uh, with a resume or mock interviewing, uh, even interview clothing. But uh, we also have a lot of people that come here for career pathway change in their careers. So we offer training here on site. It, life has become increasingly uh, difficult. Not only uh, has the pandemic, unfortunately, affected our families, but inflation uh, has is costing families. Uh, let's see, pay raises are going up by 3 to 4%, but our family's uh, cost of living is going up 7 to 10%. Just buying food and bringing it bringing a healthy meal to the table is increasingly difficult. So our families are finding uh, the need to, again, compound uh, that global need to receive services, but needing more. So when they're walking in our doors, through that conversation, they're telling us, I need more than just the utility assistance. I need more than just the rental assistance. I need for you to help me with uh, basic needs. I can't, I don't have any shampoo. I don't have any laundry detergent. I don't have any toilet paper. And I know it seems insignificant, but to those families who cannot pay those utility bills, those rental bills, the basic needs are, are also uh, unfortunately become very extreme. That we're a very small office and we're only here for utility and rental assistance, but we have the first, you know, the first floor with a, with a case management team that does assist the families in need. But we all, we have the whole second floor that assists with job readiness. We have career advisors on site. We partner with Arizona at work and we also assist with financial wellness and everything to get them ready for employment. I would tell our leaders that uh, more funding uh, for infrastructure, um, we provide a strong foundation for those families who need, but we need more dollars to pay. Uh, why? Because what we've been seeing here at our community services division is that uh, we're bringing in more services, we're partnering with more partners to holistically help our families because not only do they need help with food and utility and rent, but they also are seeking additional services. Uh, community Legal Services comes in-house now uh, to help those who are fighting with landlord needs. Um, people need to have access to, how do I apply for access? How do I apply for um, uh, the Affordable Care Act? Those basic needs, whether it's a barrier because English is a second language, um, our leaders need to know that fundamentally bringing in more resources to a one-stop shop methodology allows our families to come in to a trusted entity and then get all of those needs met. The types of clients that come through here are people who are just in the middle of a, a just changing their careers. They're working part-time, they want to gain em meaningful employment, either full-time or just an industry change. Uh, we have a lot of people that come here that just need to update their resumes or want us, want us to part have them partner with our uh, employer partners in the community by doing a job match where we call the employer in their behalf. So we have uh, we have that service where employers love when we refer people over to them, so. You know, after COVID, it the industries that got hit the hardest uh, that we saw, people that were working in the hospitality industry, transportation industry, um, Getting, getting them back into the workforce because they were either working from home and they weren't, they were getting comfortable and then now they're getting back into the workforce where they're not job ready. And um, they struggled with interviewing. It's all, it's, the struggles it also included rental and, and utility assistance where you know they got behind on their rent. And the beauty of this building is we offer that service here downstairs. We do offer financial literacy here on site. Uh, we do have a financial wellness program. A lot of our clients have admitted that their, their credit scores are, they need, needs a lot of help because they need to pay their bills on time. 
or they were ready to file bankruptcy. But once they come through our program, we get them back on track. We, we have workshops for them. We also assist them with um, uh, services that will help them increase their credit score through Operation Hope. And it's all at no cost to the, to the families. We're very, very pr proud of um, the vital services that we bring to the community. Our assets to um, uh, opportunity programs offer our families who struggle with basic uh, post-secondary education, and we allow through match savings to help those families pay for uh, post-secondary education. Not only does it it allow those of low to moderate means, but those who are here are immigrants that uh, are DACA, are DREAMers, that don't have access to FAFSA because they're not U.S. citizens. This is an opportunity for them to utilize these funds to pay for their own education. And it can be across the board. Not everybody is seeking a bachelor's degree, so a trade school that pays well, a community college that allows uh, an opportunity for you to get an associate or a certificate, um, that bachelor's degree that will allow the income to grow. Um, we offer an eight to one match for our education piece across the board. And then we offer a three to one for what I call um, our entrepreneurs that are not savvy business people. So even small businesses uh, in the city of Mesa are allowed to grow through this ATO program. What I wish our, the leadership uh, would know about our community is that we have a very robust professional team of career advisors here ready to assist them with uh, resume writing and interviewing techniques and also the, uh, the supportive services that we provide. Um, a lot of the our employer partners are not aware that we provide our clients with interview clothing suits for men. Uh, we provide those basic services at no cost. We also provide services such as bus passes and gas cards and, and things like that to get them to their job. I wish our, I would, I would love, I welcome any company to come and, and just tour our facility and, and find out what, look at the boutique that we have and come tour. It's at no cost and we welcome any company to come here and see what we do. And, and we have an experienced, again, group of people that are just very passionate about assisting families in need. What I wish our community leaders would know about the families that walk in our doors is that we get every family from all walks of life. COVID uh, taught us that uh, teachers, police officers, firefighters found themselves uh, for the first time in crisis when they lost their jobs or had to walk away from jobs when in fact uh, a loved one um, lost their fight with COVID and or lost their jobs because of COVID. So a lot of people find that they fear that people who walk in our doors are always a crisis, they're always needy, but they're not. Um, some families just found themselves for the first time not even knowing how to get services here because COVID unfortunately impacted their lives, their livelihood, and those that they love. The biggest obstacle for families to get back into the workplace is transportation. A lot of times they take public transportation or they're borrowing families' cars or they're walking. Uh, transportation continues to be a barrier. Uh, we also have a lot of families who live with other family members. And so getting their own place is a challenge. And it's been, uh, this is when we ask for those demographics and we ask the question, are you currently renting, <clears throat> excuse me, or, or are you living with family or you're in a shelter? A lot of times they say, I'm living with family until I can get back on my feet. And that's been a challenge. The most significant uh, difficulties we've been seeing recently is the number of continued crisis pieces that our families are needing. Not only can families walk into our doors and receive utility and rental assistance, but we're finding that our families are either in, in need of basic needs, 
in need of food insecurity, so food, um, they need better paying jobs. So the need has expanded uh, and become a more robust need, not just I need my utilities paid or my rental paid. Um, I need to know how I'm going to get to work. I need to know how I'm going to pay for my daycare, and I need to know how I'm going to bring food to the table. So uh, what our families are telling us is that uh, their need is, is um, not complete with just a utility payment, not just complete with the rental payment, but it's more than that. My wish list would be having a couple of employers here on site, have a couple offices for them. That way when individuals come through and are looking for work, we have the employer right across the hallway. That would be my wish list. If I were to um, decide what I would want to bring to our services because they're very much needed is we know that COVID impacted our families um, and a lot of them found that life hit them and hit them hard. So a lot of our families were not able to finish their GED. They weren't able to finish high school. Families who's lost parents to either immigration or lost families to COVID. Um, we found 17 to 19 year olds become the sole breadwinner and a mother father figure for siblings. So I would bring a GED program to support those families because it's not a trend. Anybody who has a GED program will earn $250,000 more in their lifetime. So if I were queen for the day, I would bring in a basic need like completing your GED so that then we could uh, seamlessly move you to our ATO program and then seek um, post-secondary education. That is a component that I, uh, I truly believe our families need right now. To not give up and, and to know that there are resources out there to assist them and to come in and even if they they are not job searching and a little bit of mentoring and coaching and let them know that somebody's on their side and just that we're here to listen to them and, and just uh, get them back on track. When they leave our workforce center, they're they're overwhelmed with all these resources and that's we know that we did our job because they're going to utilize those resources.